that you can control a cursor just by moving a magnet above a keyboard. So when I move my magnet over to this corner, the white line will follow. If I move it down to another corner, it'll follow it. And notice, I'm not actually touching the keys at all. I'm just moving the magnet above the keys, above the keys themselves. So the way this works is I have this magnet, which is propelling magnets underneath the keys. I place the magnets um, underneath each key, and then when I when I put my magnet above the key, it just repels it, so the keyboard knows where each magnet is. The really cool thing is I can actually do this, since the keyboard has multiple points, I can do this with any number of magnets. Okay, so I can do two magnets. So it's basically a totally new interaction technique. Go for it. So you put the magnets up? Um, the other way. Uh, to repel. Okay. So you open up the keyboard and put the magnets, um, like, you, do you snap, like, up below the snap domes, or? Below the snap domes, yeah. Okay. On top of, I just glued them on top of the, I glued them on top of the sensor layers, exactly. Okay. But the key, and you can also just push the keys down. Yeah, for this demo, yeah. But yeah. you can totally, you can type with it and then switch modes and use this normally, like, as a cursor. Cool. So it's a totally new way of doing it, but. Very cool. That is crazy. So if you think it's creative, we're going for most creative. Hidden forces, please, you know, yeah. if you need a paper, please take one to remember. Oh, I don't think Paul intended that. <laughs>